Okay, so I started this book, uh, It's Your First Year Network Marketing by Mark and Renee Yarnell. Um, this one's a little more detail-oriented, and it's filled with a lot of content. So I want to just try to do this one chapter at a time. There's so much information that uh, I just can't simply tell you all of it. But the first chapter is Ignore the Rejection Rocket. It says that you know over 50% of the successful or would-be successful network marketers fail before they ever begin. Simply because their spouse doubts them. Okay, that's just one cause, their spouse. All right, so it's just saying, like, if your spouse doubts you a lot, uh, you probably made a mistake of telling them too early in the business, and it costed you maybe fortunes. Another one is uh, rejection by your friends and family. This one's hard to do. Uh, I know when everybody starts, everybody gets excited, and they want to talk to everybody, do this, do that, and they don't want to listen to people that are high up in the business and have already been through the struggles. So you guys need to listen to what your upline tells you, okay? There re there's a reason they're your upline and there. They're probably doing pretty well. All right, so one is, you know, people try to contact your friends and family and win a battle. You know, talk to them, try to give them remedies to every excuse they have. And basically what you're doing, uh, you're not good enough in the business to help them out, one, or it's just not the right timing. So don't try to win a battle because all you're doing is running people off that could be good uh, prospects and network marketers later. Two, they call it the good old boy. Uh, the friend or family has good intentions, but um, most of them are no-shows for the presentation. So it's basically saying like you're out there to help somebody and they say they're going to show up, or they tell you they're going to show up just to get you to stop talking to them about it, and they're no-shows. You need to prepare yourself for things like that. Um, if you're enrolling new people or, have, or sponsoring new people into whatever business you may be doing, you have to make sure that you prepare these people for rejection because you will get rejected by people. It doesn't matter how good you are, how well you can talk, how much people like you, people are going to reject you at some point. So what they tell you is to make sure if you're uh, a new member, do not go and spread news about the business. Okay, If you're within your first year, well, I would say earlier than that, first six months, then you need to be learning as much as you can possibly learn and you know stop trying to just explain the business by yourself we do highly encourage that you become a leader but in the first two three months we don't expect you to do it all if you try to do it you're just going to run everybody off so what we tell you to avoid rejection is just simply get people to meetings where uplines can talk to them for you okay so most places like uh, my business vima we have uh you know at least two meetings a week in different regions Get people to those meetings. Let the uplines uh, talk to them. And same one, same one, like whenever uh, those new people get new members. When they get new members, instead of them trying to explain it to them, just get them to the meeting. It will do all the work for you. All right. Um, the next thing uh, is, you know, people fail because they're not committed to the business. A lot of people will come into the business. They're really excited. They don't get the results they want in a week because they somehow think, you know, they're going to jump into being a millionaire uh, within a week, a month, six months, or even a year. And it's probably not going to happen. Some people do it. Uh, you know, don't get me wrong. Some people do it. But the chances of you becoming a millionaire within a year are very, very, very slim. Especially if you're thinking that you're going to do it in a week. Because all you're going to do is uh, set yourself up for failure. Um, one thing that's holding a lot of people back is that they're reluctant to call prospects. Okay, so this morning I called about 30 people I didn't even know. Um, I just called a bunch of realtors, got their numbers, and called them. You know, all they can do is tell me no, but some of them didn't. Some of them were interested. New people are reluctant to call people because they're not uh, properly informed about the business and they're not confident. What they do instead is try to fill their time and find any way possible to take all their time they can and say that they're just trying to learn the business. Um, one thing is, is that you need to spend 80% of your time prospecting, meaning calling people, and 20% of the time doing personal development and uh, filling in gaps for people. Um, all right, so one thing that I really didn't like in this, uh, you know, because I'm not sexist or anything at all, but uh, this was written several years ago, I think in the 80s. But it says, uh, not being taken seriously. Some people think they're not going to be taken seriously simply because they're female. Um, I think that's stupid, personally, because, uh, you know, today's age, I think there's, more unemployment of males than there are females, so that should tell you something there. Women are fully qualified to do any job that a man is able to do. So if you're one of those people that uh, think a girl can't do it just because it's a girl, you need to wake up because they're probably going to be a lot more successful than you are.
All right. So uh, one of the big concepts here that a lot of people do wrong, uh, they think if they get rejected, they have a fear of rejection because they think people are rejecting them as a person and not the business. You got to separate these things. You know, people are going to flat out tell you no. Uh, people are going to tell you stupid, tell you the business is stupid, whatever. Don't take it personally. Just go past them. You know, go be successful. And chances are, you know, if you don't bug them too much and harass them, they'll probably want to join you later. But if you stay after that person, you know, you need to do this, need to do that, uh, you know, you're wrong because of this, and argue with them, you're going to create a permanent no from that person. So always keep that in mind. Um, what you don't uh, have in skill when you begin, you should make up in numbers. So think of it this way. If you call three people a day and you get two no's or three no's, you're devastated because you got either the majority or all no's. Uh, this says you should try to contact 100 people a day. This is very hard to do, but you can work your way up to it in a year or two years. So the thing is, if you call 100 people and you have 20 people that, in, that are interested, you know, that's a small percentage. That's 20 people that are interested that may want to join your business. So it really eases the fact that you get all these no's. So keep your numbers high. All right. Um, the last couple of things they have on here is uh, the narrow focus syndrome. Just don't focus on selling one or a few products. Uh, a lot of people try to do this. Uh, I'm not a big supporter of it. In my business, I love the body products. But the body products aren't all that I try to sell and try to advertise. It's just not the way it is. Not everybody wants to use those products. We have so many great products that you need to advertise everything as a whole by advertising the opportunity and help, not just a simple drink. Uh, the last thing in this chapter is turning rejection into a positive emotion. This is one thing that I really like. So he said one of the things that made him very successful is that his father told him, uh, I think he was selling shampoo or something like that for a network marketing business. He criticized him highly, and they didn't even talk for a year. But he took that rejection from his father that was just thrown right in his face and turned it into motivation. And this motivation eventually uh, made him a lot of money within that year. And his father called and uh, was actually crying and apologized and everything to him because of the way he acted, the way he treated him. So overall, uh, you know, the first chapter is basically about getting over the simple fears of, you know, calling people, rejection how you should do things. Don't rush into it. Just immediately try to tell people a lot of stuff that you know nothing or very little about. And just try to turn anything you can into a, a, pot, a positive atmosphere, positive emotion, and a positive image. So if you like this information, sorry that the, the video is long. It's like eight and a half minutes or something like that. But shoot me a message at tkdblack2012 at yahoo.com. Like, share, or comment on this post, or ask me about my blog. Thank you.